I'm going to do is probably try the camera with the shake reduction on and off to see how beneficial or see if it is actually negative on this camera. Here's with shake reduction on. Here is with shake reduction off. Nice thing about this particular lens is that it has quick shift. So when I'm in, when I'm in video mode, I can adjust the focus myself. Also, this lens has a very smooth focus ring. Doesn't make noise, it's smooth, it works well with video. See lots of wind right now. So right now the shake reduction is off, 60 frames a second mode with the 55 millimeters plus crop factor. I'll switch it up to try with the shake reduction. So here it is with shake reduction on. Like I said, very smooth with the uh, hand focusing. One negative of the K01 is that it doesn't currently have the peaking mode while the video is being recorded. However, it's not too difficult to uh, hand focus, especially with a longer lens. Here is the camera in f1.4 aperture. So I'm going to do some focus shift. See the Blur. Very interesting. Do something closer. So this is about a foot and a half. Focus back out. Back to that. Here is the lens at f8 instead of f1.4. See a lot more depth of field. Still get some blur in the situation with the closer subject. As I mentioned, I'm um, at Aldine Park again. It's a convenient location, so... The main purpose today is just to try this lens out in video mode.
Right now I'm shooting with the shake reduction on again. F5.6. Still lots of shake I can tell as I'm walking. Maybe I can eventually figure out how to walk in a better fashion. So we're back to no shake reduction at 5.6 again. So you can see more or less shake in the video. Here's the lens at F8, close up, with shake reduction. So now I'm going to try the autofocus capability of the K1 in video format. Deep focus. What you do is you just hold down the AF button in the back. So with the with the DA star 55 millimeter as a motor inside, that's a good thing for video because it's not as loud as the standard excuse me standard screw driven autofocus so I don't know if you could even hear that but there it goes it's not very fast but it works doesn't even show a bracket to show where it's focusing but I assume it's using the center seems relatively smart I'm going to switch to a small aperture try it again this is f1.4 doesn't really know what to focus on here. Let's try... So maybe... There we go. Smaller apertures, looks like it has more trouble finding something to focus on. Seems to take a bit more time. See, it doesn't even want to... It's kind of hit and miss. Because you don't really... You can't really tell where it's trying to focus.
There we go. Not too bad, but I don't use it. It's really just as easy to focus with your hands. And I'm actually faster than the camera, so. So that's about it for this little video. I really like the lens in video mode. Works quite well. It'd be nice if Pentax eventually released a similar lens but wider. Thanks.